A bit risque, a bit different for the house as a horror off. You musky fragrance fans are in for a bit of a treat with the new Zaharoff Signature Royale X. Stay tuned. So we'll take a quick look at the presentation real quick. As you can see in line with the original Royale box, here you see a flip-flop contrast of the black and gold color scheme with an X painted across. It says Royale X, it's a two ounce bottle. And then you do have the floating Zs going all the way around the box as per usual. Zaharoff.com on the bottom. Zaharoff in black on the background. Z up top. Typical barcode information on the bottom. It is the standard Zaharoff two-piece box, but enough about the box. In regards to this bottle, so you'll notice the main distinguishable difference here is that big painted black X that comes through the back. Looks like two paint strokes just slapping an X across the bottle. It makes for a triple X effect, as you can see in the contour of the bottle on each side. You can see it almost makes for a triple X because of the way it Reflects it with a black matte finish on the cap. Standard Zaharoff stuff. For the rest of the bottle, metal cap that does click into place. And of course, there is the Z on the inside. This has the gold Royale atomizer. Pressurized and does its job. Hmm. Let's talk about this scent. So I'll have the notes on screen for you guys. So it's no secret. Some of you have seen the posts over the last... You know, a couple of months, I have a decant of the 18% of Royale X. What ended up coming to market was a pure parfum X straight of 27%. So it's a bit richer, it's a bit deeper, whereas the 18% that I have been wearing sporadically over the last few months here and there is a much fresher take on it because it's, a, it's an eau de parfum concentration, it's an 18%. Whereas here, you're going to get hit immediately with this zesty, bright citrus up top it is a medley of citrus it's not a specific lemon or orange or anything like that that jumps out at me and i do get a heavy hit of the juniper on my skin i always have in the original royale i got a good bit of the juniper whereas here i get more than i did in the original fragrance royale whereas that was a much more creamy blonde wood sandalwood type of fragrance this is zesty and musky i just recently did a live stream with justin and george on royale x on justin's channel make sure to go rewatch that and justin put it perfectly it's fresh with an edge that's a great way to put it because it does have this bright out the shower cleanliness to it zesty citrus lovely and fresh but immediately you're met with this darker it's kind of a night and day feel there's a darker nuance to it with this musky nature and a little bit of a leathery accord that's created by some of the bass notes with this pimento in the heart and even when i transit when you transition into the heart i do get a little bit of a tanginess that shows up on my skin a little bit of a sour to orange type of smell just a hit that adds a little bit of tang to the zesty citrus before the citrus starts to take a back seat to this slightly animalic but still very clean masculine musky nature which a lot of you know i'm not a huge fan of musky fragrances traditionally but when it's done right royale x it's definitely worth wearing this is definitely muskiness done right for me so the story george wanted to tell was that of a man's sexuality calling a spade a spade here this is the story that he wanted told this is his risque scandalous type of fragrance where it's not a super challenging super animalic, raw, dark, and musky type of fragrance where there's still a cleanliness here. There's still a daily wear appeal to this musky fragrance, but it does have that edge. It's a bit edgier than the other fragrances in the line. This is not going to be a permanent fixture, at least as of now. It's not slated to be a permanent fixture. There was a certain number of bottles for a batch made, and when they're gone, they're gone. And at the recording of this, about 75% of the stock is already sold through. So within the next week to two weeks, he should be completely sold out. But as you get into that dry down, there is a bit of a woody nuance, but it's more of a soft kind of 
slightly dark and animalic leather accord, but not a heavy leather. It's more about the musk here. The oud adds just a little touch of the darkness that's found here with that musky nature. It's a slightly animalic oud that just kind of adds to the overall aura and essence of that slight naughty dirty appeal that George was going for with the muskiness of this fragrance here. So even though I say dark and dirty and naughty and all these wonderful words to describe the muskiness, it's not super challenging. It's not one of those crazy animalics that only will appeal to certain noses and you know those that like the more challenging fragrances. This is not by any means a super challenging musk. What it is though is a departure from the signature line whereas different fragrances in the line have told you a certain story the professional man signature poor ohm the evening out signature noir the daytime you know white oxford royale you have the intoxicating just overall dominating rose incense floral that is signature rose you have your mass appealing everyday tobacco with signature tobacco and here it's just different. It's musty. It's sexy. It's got an aphrodisiac appeal. When my wife first smelled it, her exact face, exact facial expression, and the what she said was, "Ooh," and that was all she needed to say. That says so much without saying a lot. That is the appeal of Royale X. It is celebrating a man's sexuality with that sexy, musky, masculine smell. And put into a bottle. Claude Deere captured George's idea and vision perfectly. Now let's discuss performance. So I have been through a few renditions of the fragrance. This is a 27% decant. And like I said before, I have this decant of 18%. So I've done my fair share of testing prior. And so I didn't need a lot of wear to really see what the final production version was going to be about. But for me, it's in the 7-8 to eight hour range of life on my skin so far in the time that I have worn it. I wore it all throughout the day. I wore it out the shower this evening. I'm going to probably wear it again tomorrow because it's quite an enjoyable fragrance if you're into musks and I'm traditionally not. So it's nice when I come across one that I thoroughly enjoy. Like I said, seven to eight hour range. I'm sure there's some people that will get even more longevity out of this and there may be some that get a little bit less, but I think the six to eight hour range is relatively safe. But you know, this one kind of strikes me as the way Rosé is, where, yeah, it's going to hit eight hours real easy before it becomes a skin scent. But it's one of those fragrances with the quality of oils used here, especially with the 27% concentration, that once your body starts to heat up again, it's going to come back all over again. So 10, 11, 12 hours into the life of the fragrance, as long as your body heats up, this will go right on back to projecting again like it's been recently resprayed. A lot of the fragrances in the Zaharoff line are good for that, especially fragrances like Tabac and Rosé. Royale X has a similar glue-like appeal to my skin, especially for the concentration. This is the highest oil concentration fragrance from the house that doesn't guarantee 20 hours of life, but it does stick to my skin. It stays with a relatively heavy sheen. I don't know if you can see that. That spray is from probably an hour and a half, two hours ago, and I still have a nice bright sheen on my hand. So it's a heavy oil concentration. So longevity will vary from person to person. So far, I've been averaging around eight hours before it becomes a light scent. But when you heat up, it comes right on back. Projection, on the heavier side in the first two hours, while not a room filler, it's definitely the reach out and grab somebody type of projection while it's in its zesty, bright phase where it's still cleaner musk than it is more so animalic musk where the citruses are still playing a heavy role in the early stages of the fragrance. It's really bright. It's uplifting. It's captivating. It's head turning. It's got that aphrodisiac sexual appeal. It will grab somebody. It does have that ability. Is it some compliment magnet? Not in my experience thus far, but it will grab the ooh, what are you wearing on occasion when it captivates somebody. So projections on the heavier side, but definitely one I would not call a beast by any means. After about two to three hours, it really starts to settle in a bit close to the skin with a mild trail, but because it's a parfum concentration, that trail does have a bit of a density to it, so it does linger a little bit longer than a standard EDT or EDP concentration fragrance will. So you do have a nice little trail, more so than a massive scent bubble. So it's passers-by 
is really where the magic's going to be. That's when you can really capture somebody when they get that light whiff of the aroma, aroma when you walk by. So Siage is on the moderate to slightly above moderate side. Projection is on the moderate to heavy side. Longevity is on the very good side. Overall, for everyone, nah. No fragrances for everyone. But if you're looking for something with a little bit of an edge from the house of Zaharoff, Royal X is going to be the fragrance for you to try. Again, the stock is limited. I don't know how easy it is to get a sample or anything like that, but bottles are becoming scarce very, very quickly. Most people that were, that were involved in the pre-sale got their bottles at the recording of this or the day prior or the day of this video releasing. And uh, you're going to see a lot more stuff about this coming across social media in the coming days from people posting about it and giving their thoughts. And this video was just me giving my thoughts. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have already secured your bottle of Signature Royale X? It is a limited run fragrance. It is not going to be a long-term fixture in the collection like a Signature Tabac or a Noir or the original Royale, Rosé, anything like that. This is a limited time, make a splash kind of fragrance. Those that get it will have it and can enjoy the olfactive experience and the story George was trying to tell, which, in my opinion, he's, this fragrance captures the story he wanted to tell very, very well. And uh, if you have your bottle coming, I hope you enjoy it. If you're interested in this fragrance, like I said, act sooner rather than later. There's always a link down in the description with a code that'll save 10% off your order. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Signature Royale X and you give it a spray now, who knows? You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.